Alchemy is an ancient practice that intertwines elements of science, philosophy, and mysticism. Its origins are deeply rooted in early civilizations such as ancient Egypt, Greece, and China, and it evolved significantly through the Islamic Golden Age and the European Middle Ages. While alchemy is often mischaracterized as merely an attempt to turn base metals into gold, it encompasses a complex array of ideas aimed at understanding the nature of matter, the universe, and human transformation. Origins and Early Development The origins of alchemy are closely linked with the early practices of metallurgy and chemistry in ancient Egypt. The Egyptians were among the first to engage in experiments with metals, developing techniques for smelting and alloying that would lay the groundwork for later alchemical practices. Their knowledge of materials and their properties was quite advanced for its time. The Greeks, inheriting and expanding upon this knowledge, further developed ideas about the nature of matter. Philosophers like Empedocles and Democritus contributed significantly to early theories about the composition of the universe. Empedocles proposed the concept of four fundamental elements, earth, water, air, and fire, that combine to form all matter. Democritus introduced the idea of the atom, an indivisible particle that made up all substances. The Greek philosopher Hermes Trismegistus, attributed to the mythical figure Hermes, played a crucial role in shaping early alchemical thought. His writings, particularly the Emerald Tablet, are foundational texts in the alchemical tradition. The Emerald Tablet is famous for its cryptic statement, as above, so below, which reflects the belief in the correspondence between the macrocosm, the universe, and the microcosm, the individual. This principle became central to alchemical philosophy, suggesting that understanding the natural world could lead to insights into the self and the divine. Alchemy in the Islamic Golden Age During the Islamic Golden Age, 8th to 14th centuries, alchemy experienced a significant transformation and expansion. Islamic scholars built upon the knowledge of earlier Greek and Egyptian alchemists and made substantial advancements in the field. One of the most influential figures was Jabir ibn Hiyan, Geber, whose comprehensive writings on alchemy laid the groundwork for subsequent Western practices. Jabir's work was notable for its systematic approach and emphasis on experimentation. Jabir ibn Hayyan introduced several key concepts and tools that would become fundamental in the development of alchemy. Among these were the alembic, an apparatus for distillation, and the elixir, a substance believed to grant immortality and cure all diseases. Jabir's emphasis on systematic experimentation and the recording of procedures marked a significant departure from earlier, more mystical approaches. His work was instrumental in developing the methodology of alchemy and laid the foundation for the later scientific study of chemistry. Alchemy in Medieval Europe The transmission of alchemical knowledge to medieval Europe occurred primarily through the translation of Arabic texts and the intellectual exchange with the Islamic world. By the 12th century, European scholars were translating the works of Islamic alchemists into Latin, making this knowledge accessible to a wider audience. Alchemy soon became entwined with Christian and philosophical thought, leading to a unique European interpretation of alchemical principles. During the Middle Ages, the philosopher's stone became a central focus of European alchemy. This mythical substance was believed to have the power to transmute base metals into gold and grant eternal life. The quest for the philosopher's stone represented not only a physical goal but also a spiritual one, symbolizing the quest for enlightenment and perfection. Notable alchemists from this period include Nicolas Flamel and Paracelsus. Nicolas Flamel, a French scribe, is perhaps the most famous alchemist of medieval Europe, though much of his reputation stems from legend rather than historical fact. He was rumored to have achieved the transmutation of base metals into gold and discovered the philosopher's stone, though historical evidence of his success is lacking. Paracelsus, a Swiss physician, made significant contributions to alchemy by integrating it into his medical practice. He emphasized the use of chemical remedies and believed that alchemical principles could enhance healing and understanding of the human body. Paracelsus's approach to alchemy was more pragmatic than mystical, focusing on the practical applications of alchemical knowledge in medicine and chemistry. Alchemy and the Scientific Revolution The transition from alchemy to modern chemistry began during the Scientific Revolution, 16th to 18th centuries. The scientific revolution marked a shift from a mystical and speculative approach to a more empirical and systematic method of inquiry. Alchemists' contributions to experimental techniques, such as distillation and sublimation, provided essential tools for the development of modern chemistry. However, as the scientific method gained prominence, alchemy began to be viewed as a pseudoscience. The emphasis on empirical evidence and reproducibility led to a re-evaluation of alchemical practices. Figures such as Robert Boyle, often considered the father of modern chemistry, played a crucial role in this transition. Boyle's work, particularly his development of Boyle's law and his focus on rigorous experimentation, rejected the mystical aspects of alchemy in favor of a more systematic approach. 
Boyle's emphasis on reproducibility and observation laid the groundwork for modern chemistry. His work demonstrated that the principles of chemistry could be understood through empirical investigation rather than mystical speculation. This shift marked the end of alchemy as a science and the beginning of its transformation into a more formalized and philosophical and symbolic dimensions. Beyond its practical applications, alchemy has deep philosophical and symbolic meanings. Alchemists often viewed their work as a spiritual quest for personal transformation. The process of transmuting base metals into gold was not merely a physical transformation but also a metaphor for the alchemist's spiritual journey. The idea was that by achieving physical transmutation, the alchemist could also achieve spiritual enlightenment and purity. This spiritual dimension is reflected in alchemical symbols and texts, which often use allegory and metaphor to convey deeper truths about existence and the self. Alchemical imagery is rich with symbolic meaning, and many of the symbols used in alchemy are derived from the natural world, such as the sun, moon, and various animals. These symbols were used to represent different aspects of the alchemical process and the stages of personal transformation. The great work, Magnum Opus, in alchemy symbolizes the ultimate goal of achieving enlightenment and spiritual purity. The great work is often depicted as a complex process involving several stages, including calcination, burning away impurities, dissolution, breaking down substances, and coagulation, reassembling into a purified form. This process represents the journey of the alchemist toward achieving a higher state of being and understanding. Legacy and Influence Despite its decline as a scientific discipline, alchemy's legacy continues to influence various fields. In literature and popular culture, alchemy remains a powerful symbol of magical transformations and quests for hidden knowledge. The Philosopher's Stone and other alchemical motifs appear in works ranging from medieval alchemical texts to contemporary fiction. For example, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series draws heavily on alchemical symbolism, particularly in the depiction of the Philosopher's Stone and the concept of transmutation. In psychology, Carl Jung explored the symbolic dimensions of alchemy and interpreted its imagery as a representation of the process of individuation, the journey toward self-realization and integration. Jung saw alchemical symbols as metaphors for the psychological transformation of the individual. The alchemical process of turning lead into gold, for Jung, symbolized the transformation of the self from a base, unrefined state into a more enlightened and integrated whole. Alchemy also continues to influence modern esoteric and spiritual practices. Many contemporary spiritual traditions and occult practices draw on alchemical symbols and concepts, viewing them as tools for personal and spiritual development. The rich symbolic language of alchemy provides a framework for exploring themes of transformation, purification, and enlightenment.